What's more exciting than Christmas being around the corner? More updates on Erling Braut Haaland, the newly crowned player of the year in Austria and his potential move to Manchester United. I'm going to discuss United's confirmed bid for Haaland and that picture that went flying around the internet this week of him signing a United shirt. I'll explain everything about both of them. Now make sure you subscribe if you're new to United People's TV, but let's talk about Haaland or Haaland or Howland or however you pronounce his name. I'm going to stick with Haaland. When it comes to United transfers these days, whenever David Ornstein or Fabrizio Romano speak, United fans get excited. And Fabrizio Romano came in with a big win this week with his confirmation of a bid from United for Haaland. We're not the only club in for him, though. Fabrizio's confirmed bids from Leipzig, bids from Dortmund and bids from Juventus. And Romano points out that Haaland wants to be a starter whatever club he joins. And that's a major factor behind his decision that he's going to make. And he also rightly points out that because Leipzig and Salzburg have got the Red Bull connection, that you just can't rule them out. So the bid is in. United are making moves for Haaland. And that in itself is a major step. We've had Woodward and Solskjaer both being in Salzburg meeting Haaland's representatives, and now the bid is in. The game is on. But there are plenty of other clubs. Now, Juventus, would he start there? I'm not sure, but Juventus, they've got Ronaldo, they've got De Ligt, they've got a hell of a team, and they constantly win the Serie A. What about Leipzig? He'd certainly start there. Timo Werner's been sensational, but they could always do with another striker, and the Red Bull connections, I mean, you just can't rule them out. And Dortmund are a very exciting and young team. So all three of them certainly have got factors as why Haaland might choose them. But they haven't got Solskjaer, and I think that's going to be United's big trump card if he does complete the move. And there's also reports coming out that aren't confirmed that his salary demands of €8 million Euros a year, which works out roughly about £140,000 a week, would rule out Leipzig. I hope that's the case, and one hundred and forty k a week, that's well within United's remit and not outside the realms of normality, I suppose, in how much money there is in football these days. You wouldn't have said that a while ago, but it is what it is. But United can certainly afford that. And with Solskjaer in charge, that does give us an edge. And I'm certain of that. Now, in case a bid for Haaland isn't exciting enough, when a picture emerged this week of Haaland signing a United shirt, United fans went absolutely wild. Now, I want to explain exactly how he came to sign that shirt and where the picture came from. Haaland was back in Norway this week and he went to a local club, Rosaland, who his father and his brother have both played for. And that night, on Monday night at Rosaland, there was a dinner that was put on and people bought packages that would allow them to get a picture with Haaland and a signed Salzburg shirt with Haaland. Now, at that event, somebody came up to him and gave him a United shirt to sign. He obliged, he signed the shirt, somebody took a photo and it went viral everywhere. It was originally uploaded by a Norwegian fan page, but it spread everywhere. And then Haaland himself uploaded it to his own Instagram account. But he also did that with lots of other shirts that he signed, a Napoli shirt, a Molde shirt, a Salzburg shirt. It was his attempt to sort of diffuse the excitement to say, look, I signed other shirts. I may have signed this United one, but it's not the only one I've signed. The problem for Erling was that if you look at the photo here, this is from the event in Norway where he did sign that United shirt. And you look at what he's wearing. He's wearing a hoodie. Then you look at what he's wearing when he's signing the other shirts. Completely different clothes, completely different time. It almost looks like he's signing his own shirt collection. Napoli's when he played against them in the Champions League. Molde, it's a club he broke through at. Salzburg, his current club. It was his attempt to sort of diffuse the excitement, but it didn't really work, Erling. You're not fooling anybody there. Now, the question is, what does Haaland want to do? What about Leipzig? Could play with Timo Werner there. Exciting manager. Good team. Top of the Bundesliga. You've got Dortmund. Into the last 16 of the Champions League. Could win the Bundesliga as well. And you've got United, which has the Solskjaer pool. And at 19... He doesn't have to move to a club like United. He could 
move to a middle club like Leipzig or Dortmund in a few years' time, when he's 22, 23, then make the move to a major, major big club like United or Real Madrid or one of those. It depends what he wants to do in his career. But all the clubs want him. Solskjaer was asked after United's 3-0 win over Colchester about Haaland again. This time he said that he likes the player and that United are always looking to sign good players. That comes only a few days after he basically refused to really comment on it, saying that he doesn't want to talk about players from other clubs. United will want him. We need an out-and-out -out striker. Solskjaer will want him. He brought him through at Molde. But Leipzig will want him too. So will Dortmund. And so will Juventus. So it's already down to what Haaland wants to do. Let's see if the Solskjaer pull is enough to bring him to Old Trafford. And I really, really hope it is. How excited are you about the prospect of Haaland to United? Are there any other stories you'd like me to cover on Haaland? Any more information? Let me know in the comments below. But I'll bring you all the latest Haaland news as soon as I can. Until next time, though, make sure you subscribe as well. Take it easy.